Hello guys and welcome to the short video for this week I've prepared for you something very special uh, I know that probably a lot of you guys still uh, maybe have a job and don't know how to start I get these questions a lot of time and I see this problem a lot of time for many of my friends or people that I know and that want to start something uh, they had a job for a few years now, maybe five years, ten years or so, and uh, maybe they have a passion or something like that, but they don't feel actually very comfortable with starting a business with their passion. And they are thinking what they can start, they are thinking at all sorts of businesses. Uh, and sometimes they are thinking at businesses which have a high cost of investment. Uh, they are very risky for someone who is an outsider because they are thinking of classical businesses. And people actually don't think at the obvious thing that they can do to, to start a business of their own and to make money on their own. The, the obvious thing that it's in front of them, right? That it's uh, right there under their nose. And this is very, very simple. Uh, the, the best way, and I think this applies to absolutely anything that you have done, it, it might not be the thing that you want to hear right now, okay? Because it's not necessarily related what, to what you would love to do. But it's the way to get you started in business and to start working on your own, right? So uh, the, the easiest way to get into making money on your own is to use what you already know and what you are good at. And a lot of people don't think about that. Okay, for example, if you have worked in sales, you had a job in sales and this is an example, right? You, you have worked in sales in a specific niche. Maybe you were selling, you were a wine distributor. Okay, maybe you were working as a sales agent for a wine distributor. The easiest business that you can do right now because you already have experience in sales, people know you are working in sales. And if you had good results in sales and very good relationship with your clients, and that should be, uh, should be a natural fact because otherwise you shouldn't work in sales. Uh, that means the easiest business for you at the, this moment and the one which has absolutely no risk involved for you is to start your own business in sales as a distributor on your own with your own company, okay, to sell different stuff. For example, uh, if you come to from this area, okay, from uh, from wine sales, right? What you can do is uh, right now you have already a, a network of clients, okay? You have experience. Uh, what you can do at the moment is look for I know something related to wine, like accessories for wine lovers or stuff like that, and start sell selling th those things to your distributors. This is the easiest way for you to make money at the moment. Another thing that you can do, for example, is also something related to your field, like uh, holding sales training for people who want to learn how to sell. Why? Because you have proof for that. You are a very good sales agent. Okay. So the easiest thing that you can do, okay, and the one which has the lowest risk but the highest chances of success for you at the moment, it's something which is related to what you are already doing. Okay, and this might not, I know that this might not sound as the best opportunity for you because you want to get out of your job because you want to do what you love, but this is the fastest way to, do, to make the transition. Okay, and after you build that business, after you start to make money with that, you can go and pursue the dreams that you, you have, okay, with your passions because you need to have an income stream from, from somewhere. And this is the fastest way to get that income stream, but on your own and you have no financial limitation. That's the important part, right? You have no financial limitation and you can grow that business very fast because you already are in that business, okay? And then you can scale and go to, to pursue your dream, your passion with a different business or with another side business, right? So that is the fastest way to make the transition. It's the same thing for accountants, okay? It's the same thing for people who work online or have different skills like graphic designers or stuff like that. Now, if you want to do this thing online because I just gave you some uh, basic examples of uh, maybe classical businesses, if you have different skills like copywriting, graphic design, uh, I know uh, creating sales scripts and stuff like that, okay, because a lot of people work in, uh, in different online fields right now or stuff that are related to IT in general, okay, in marketing with on marketing online, IT programming, stuff like that. Uh, if the, the easiest way to find this type of jobs online, probably already have a network of clients, but to find even more opportunities like that is to go ahead on websites like Fiverr.com 
And if you will look here, for example, you are if you are a graphic designer, there are people here who are earning a ton of money doing like logo design. Okay. And you can see here that we have a lot of people who are looking who are doing logo design and you can see how many reviews they have. Don't, don't get scared by these low prices because most of them are not taking uh, this little money. They are taking much more. For example, look at this guy like four hundred dollars. Right. And most of them actually have higher prices or earn more than you see here. Right. And there are actually people on Fiverr who are earning who are earning five, seven, even eight K per month. Right. So this is just an example. OK, you just go ahead on Fiverr, you create a seller account. You see here that you have an option become a seller. You invite the people who know you already to purchase the first uh, the first uh, gigs or services through Fiverr from you. And that way you also get ranked on Fiverr and then you sell to people from outside as well or organically from Fiverr. And that's how you start to grow your business. This is the same for copywriting, for sales script, for online courses. For example, I'm into online courses and for other things like that. Okay, this is just an example. Another example is to go ahead on Facebook and find leads, right? You go ahead on Facebook and find people who are maybe are interested in your in logo design or in graphic design or whatever you do. How you find those people? You look for entrepreneur communities or for uh, Facebook pages or stuff like that, right? For example, you can look for entrepreneurs. Like you, you, you can see you have. Let let me just entrepreneurs, okay? And you can just look for groups. You go ahead, you join some groups and you see which people have businesses in here because a lot of them have and you can pitch to them your uh, your services, right? That's another way to go. You can do the same thing on LinkedIn. You just go ahead, search for people, okay, who work in different companies. LinkedIn is actually very professional. You can create posts here which are related to what you are doing and stuff like that and get leads from LinkedIn, right? Then there's Freelancer. Freelancer is one of the largest uh, freelancing platforms in the world. The same, you create like a freelancer account here. You post what you are doing, uh, like uh, logo designs and stuff like that, or graphic design or copywriting or whatever. You can also see projects and you can uh, apply for those projects and people can select you, but you can, they basically, they can also hire you directly. Again, another thing uh, for the people involved in marketing is go ahead on Warrior Forum, but for other people, they can go on different types of forums, okay? And search for people who are interested in your services, talk to them, and basically networking. That's the whole idea, right? But that's what I wanted to show you, okay? This is like the fastest way to start to make money on your own. And what I've showed you right here with Warrior Form, Fiverr and stuff like that is the fastest way to make money online on your own, right? By using your skills and things that you are already doing. So this is what I wanted to share with you guys in this short video. Just think about it, okay? Before starting an online business, if you don't know what, what to do or if you have an idea which costs you too much or is too risky and you don't have any money put aside for investment and stuff like that and you don't want pressure uh, it's very easy to do the transition by keep it, uh, by by doing what you are already doing okay because you are keeping your your uh, your experience your relationship your networking your clients absolutely everything okay you, you basically you make a smooth transition to the entrepreneurial side okay you, you don't just go ahead with your head up front okay and uh, I don't know, start a business which costs you a lot and it's high risky, okay? You just go ahead by using your skills, you make a smooth transition and you start making money on your own, online or offline. After that, you can move forward to pursuing your biggest dreams and stuff like that, okay? So that's the way to do it. This is something something that I still apply in my businesses, okay? I'm not just starting a new business which uh, is not connected in any sort of way with the with the things I already have experience with. Because I know that my chances in that new business would be very low if I don't have already, uh, let's say, a background with that. Okay, it's easier like this. If I just want to start something and I have like 5K or 10K put aside and I want to risk on something, I do it. Okay, but I know that my chances are not 95% of success are maybe 5% or 10%. On the other hand, if I do it the other way around, start something which is complementary to already what I'm doing or it's based on my previous experiences or background, I know that my chances for success are 90%, right? 
So that's why this is a smooth transition. So look what, at what you already have and start with that, right? Thank you again, guys, and I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to share this if you found it helpful. Give me a like, give me a comment, whatever. And uh, next week, I'll be here with another video and tip from my own experience for you guys. Thank you and have a very productive week.